Hello, this is Dr. Gil Wilshire at Missouri Fertility. Welcome to our discussion video regarding fertility preservation in women. Uh, now this uh, occurs generally when a woman has a sudden diagnosis of cancer. A woman's going about her, her life, a young teenager, uh, finds a lump or a bump or something and finds out, oh my God, I have cancer. So now there's all these uh, diagnostic tests and doctor's visits and all these things. Turns out chemotherapy might be necessary and all of a sudden, oh, by the way, this chemotherapy has a certain percentage uh, chance of destroying your fertility potential. A lot of these chemotherapies damage the ovaries, they damage the eggs, and there's a small but real chance a woman may not have any more eggs. So now, not only is she facing a, a life-threatening condition, She's also uh, facing the possibility of losing her fertility. Um, I see these women in my office. Sometimes they come with their families, their husbands, uh, and they're in shock and they're having to make some very difficult decisions, generally very quickly. Now, how do we help these women? First of all, our strategy is to obtain eggs. We need to get eggs. And unfortunately in women, we can't get them very quickly. It generally takes at least two weeks to develop eggs in the ovaries so that we can retrieve them and then have them frozen or turned into embryos, which are then uh, frozen in turn. Uh, the process can be done in as short as two weeks, but once you look at the, uh, uh, all the details and whatnot, three weeks is a more common uh, uh, time period. Now it is important that eggs be retrieved before a woman starts chemotherapy. This is really uh, crucially important. Uh, we work with oncologists, uh, and generally we can get the oncologist uh, to give us two or three weeks to get this process done. Now a woman will take medications for about 10 to 12 days and we put her to sleep under a light anesthesia and get the eggs out of her body. Uh, this is where we can sometimes uh, uh, face some other tough decisions. If a woman is young or single, does not have a guy in her life that she wants to have babies with, we will be forced to freeze her eggs. If a woman does have a husband or a man she's uh, hoping to have children with, uh, the preferred or most successful pathway is to fertilize her eggs, make embryos, and then freeze those uh, for use later after the chemo uh, and, and whatever else has happened has hopefully uh, treated and cured her cancer. Now, uh, some women come in with an estrogen-sensitive cancer, such as a breast cancer. We can give medications during the uh, stimulation to uh, recover eggs which will keep estrogen levels low, which keeps the oncologists uh, very happy. Another nice thing is that there are programs available for women with cancer uh, that supply medications for free or at a greatly reduced cost. One of the big, biggest expenses of this uh, are the medications, and we can get them very rapidly through some very good uh, programs uh, that have been very helpful to us in the past. Um, uh, we keep costs down for this. Um, we understand people are in trouble and we keep costs to an absolute minimum. So hopefully cost should never be a, 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 an impediment uh, to having fertility preservation uh, in women. Now, there's the occasional very young woman in whom uh, taking an ovary out and having it frozen might be a better uh, uh, choice for her. This is a rather rare occurrence. Uh, this is done in uh, research institutions where uh, what are called uh, research protocols are in place if a young woman has this condition, we would refer to a big city around us and uh, uh, facilitate that. Uh, but that's fairly rare. Generally, we do a, a process very similar to in vitro fertilization uh, to preserve a woman's fertility. Now, you need to realize that these choices are not suitable for everyone. Sometimes a woman just wants to treat her cancer, and we'll see what happens with her fertility in the future. Uh, this is very reasonable. For some young women, particularly teenagers, it's just too much, uh, and uh, um, the, the priority of everyone is just to see the, uh, uh, the, uh, the cancer treated. Um, one also has to realize that, that fertility preservation is not a guarantee of a baby. We are very good at what we do, uh, but sometimes the biology is tricky, and uh, it doesn't, the embryos do not result in a pregnancy. Uh, success rates are very high, however, so uh, the uncertainty of success should not hold somebody back from preserving their fertility if that's what they really want to do. So there's a discussion about uh, preserving female fertility. I hope this is helpful to you. This is Dr. Wilshire of Missouri Fertility. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Please feel free to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram.